Thank you all very much for being here today. My name is Adam Benke. It is with great pride and eagerness that I stand before you on the cusp of our very exciting announcement. Before we get there, I'm going to tell you a little story. Over 20 years ago, there was a young boy and his grandfather. That, yet, that grandfather was pleasant, hardworking, and entrepreneurial. The young boy was wide-eyed, loved playing sports, and just wanted to chase girls. He really enjoyed spending time with his grandfather, so one day, the grandfather thought it would be a great idea for them to get together and start a project. The grandfather wanted to teach him the value of hard work and how to create. Let's uh, turn off the phones if possible. <laughs> Thank you. The boy was very excited by the idea. He gets to spend more time with his grandfather, but really did not have a clue as to what this whole thing would entail. The next day, the grandfather walked the boy to a square plot of land in the backyard. He said, this is our project. The boy was very confused, thinking it was just a small patch of grass. What could we ever do with this? The grandfather went on to explain that this was going to turn into something special that was going to impact the community and teach him a great life lesson. He was excited to get started, but still didn't really understand. There were plenty of days where the boy wanted to play around and chase the girls as usual, not put in the necessary work, but his grandfather kept him on track and told him to keep his head up and trust the process. Quickly, that patch of grass turned into a very successful tomato garden of over 200 plants. By the time they had picked the first crop, the grandfather was already a few steps ahead and ready to start their own business. They had a cart that they set in the driveway and mailbox signs ready to draw people in. Unfortunately, days went by, nobody was stopping in, just tomatoes to look at. However, the grandfather was there to preach, to keep his head up and keep smiling. They treated every one of their very few customers with kindness and appreciation. A few nice conversations with folks that stopped in here and there and a couple dollars still didn't seem worth it to the boy. Over time, Luckily, the word got out in the community. By the end of that first summer, the driveway would fill up every single day after 5 p.m. People were on their way home from work and needed their tomatoes. They could barely keep up with all the demand, and this is when the boy realized that he could, should continue working as hard as possible. Finally, the boy started to truly understand the value of hard work and what it could do for the community if you treat your people with kindness and appreciation. People would tell them that they were not only the best tomatoes they had ever had, but their appreciation for their customers was something to be very proud of. Sure enough, the next summer rolled around and they were back at it. Best tomatoes in town, people talking about it, the driveway full, and impacting that community in a very positive way. Unfortunately, that summer the grandfather passed away and the boy lost his best friend and business partner. Despite the devastating loss, the boy knew he had to carry on the tradition for years to come. He did not want to let his grandfather or his community down. After all, they relied on the best tomatoes in town. Fortunately, the boy's brother, sister, mom, and dad were all there to help out, and for the next 10 years, they were the most successful homegrown tomato business in the area. While this all started, the boy really didn't understand it at all, but he eventually learned the valuable skills and a lesson that would last him a lifetime. The skills were how to start something from scratch via hard work while the lesson was how to treat people in order to make that thing flourish into a community staple, impacting the lives of others in a very positive way. Since then, that young man has taken those valuable skills and life lesson to New York City for the last 10 years and now to Loudoun County. He stands here in front of you today with great pride in starting this new project from scratch. While we have a much larger, much larger, patch of grass to build upon than what I had back then, I know we can have a positive impact on our community and turn this into something truly special. With that said, I'm here to announce to you today that we are bringing a professional soccer team to Loudoun County. Thank you all. My name is Adam Banke. I am the Chief Operating Officer of our club. We will be the direct second division affiliate of MLS Club DC United. 
And as you can probably guess by now, our team name will be Loud and United. We are in the process of building a brand new 5,000 person venue adjacent to Bolin and Loudoun Soccer Parks to call our home. We hope to become as involved as possible in this community to help host camps, clinics, festivals, health expos, graduation, and the like. Obviously, a lot of hard work has gone into this already with plenty more still to come. So I have quite a few people to say thank you to. I'm gonna start here by giving a very special thank you to DC United and Managing General Partner and CEO of DC United, Jason Levian. <laughs> DC United is investing in Loudoun County and the future of both the team and Loudoun United. We believe that this is laying a solid foundation that communicates to the community and the nation that Loudoun County and DC United are committed to a better, stronger county that promotes the beautiful sport of soccer. Thank you to Jason for not only believing in me to see this venture through, but believing in this community to support the club. I will not let you or our community down just like I did 20 plus years ago. Again, another round of applause for Jason and DC United. I'd also like to thank the County Board of Supervisors for their belief, vision, and ongoing support. Those with us here today are Chair Randall, Vice Chair Bona, Supervisor Sains, Higgins, Volpe, and Letourneau. They have worked tirelessly on this project from the start to see it through, and we couldn't do it without them. So thank you very much. Also, all involved in the planning and construction of this new venue. It's quite the task. Those folks from the county team, Deputy County Attorney, Dewberry, DTCI, Planning and Zoning, EDA, Parks and Rec, Kimley Horn, In Production, LF Jennings, Architecture Inc., and O'Neill, if I missed anybody, I apologize, but thank you. <laughs> and finally, the league itself, the USL. It is an incredible league with a progressive vision that's going to carry the sport of soccer to new heights. Let's take a look at the TV screens for a little preview of what the USL is all about. Anybody get shows like I just did? Yeah. Without further ado, I introduce to you the man responsible for making this league the one it is today, COO of the USL, Justin Papadakis. All right, good morning. Good, good evening, good evening. Um, well, one exciting day it is uh, for, for our sport, uh, for, Loudoun, for Loudoun County, and, and for our league. So on behalf of our, our CEO, uh, Alec Papadakis, our president, Jake Edwards, and the entire USL family, uh, it is really my pleasure to, to be here with you today. When I talk with people about Loudoun County, um, I, I find that I always talk in terms of superlatives. So the number one uh, household uh, income in, in the United States, the number one uh, place for, for data centers, the leader, uh, I think, in, in the polls for Amazon HQ2. <laughs> so, but, but today, thanks to uh, these, these people sitting here, uh, especially uh, uh, Chair, Chair Randall, Matt Letourneau, and, and the rest of the, 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 uh, the Board of Supervisors and Buddy Reiser. Um, I think we can add another superlative to the list, and that is soccer. So, and 
I think what's exciting about adding soccer is that the game, um, it's young, it's diverse, it's, it's inclusive, and it's global, just like the, the citizens of, of Loudoun County. So it's a, it's a great fit. And today we celebrate um, not only bringing the professional team, but also the, the DC United Academy uh, to, to Loudoun County, which will make uh, this area one of the premier soccer centers um, in the country. During the week, you can go watch Wayne Rooney practice, and on Saturday, you can go watch uh, your, your team in, in Loudoun United uh, take, uh, take the pitch. And so, the, what, we're, what we're really trying to build um, at the end of the day is a community asset. And I think, again, thanks to the hard work of, of people on my right here, we're able to make that happen, so thank you very much. Your teams you're playing in a league that's, that's on the rise. Um, we have a growing fan base all across the United States. Loudoun's to be joining 33 other clubs uh, around the country that, that are really embracing the passion and excitement uh, for this sport like, like nev never before. In 2018, we'll see over 3 million uh, fans come out and support the, their, their club in hopes of, of winning the, the USL Cup. One of the trademarks of USL um, is, is the, the world-class ownership. Owners from the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, and MLS are, are choosing USL um, as, as the league they really want to invest in. And Loudoun has, uh, I think, the, really the privilege of having one of the top owners in, in all professional sports uh, to, to lead your club and we couldn't be more excited about partnering with you, Jason. So thank you for your commitment to the USL and to Loudoun County. I also uh, lastly want to give a big thank you to Sam Porter. Um, it's, it's been a lot of emails, it's been a lot of phone calls, and I know it's worked very closely with, with all of you and uh, today really couldn't have happened without Sam, so thank you for all your, your help. So without further ado, I'd like to ask Jason and, and Adam to come up, uh, and I'd like to uh, officially uh, welcome Loudoun United to the USL for the 2019 season. For something like this to happen, it takes great vision, drive, and commitment. Our next spe speaker is truly an inspiration. In the last few weeks alone, he's brought Wayne Rooney to DC United and opened a brand new stadium in DC, Audi Field. Guiding this effort is Managing General Partner and CEO of DC United, Jason Levy. sure I don't forget to thank everybody, but listen, it's always great to be here in Loudoun. Today is especially terrific because we are unveiling Loudoun's finest, our new soccer team, Loudoun United. So there are a lot of people to thank for this incredible day. Uh, I want to start off by talking about my first lunch I had with Buddy Reiser and Matt Latorno. Uh, and we sat down and we said, you know, what an amazing place you guys are in and you're representing and how can we work with you at DC United to do something really special? We weren't quite sure what we were gonna come up with, uh, but there was, you know, real belief on our part and a commitment to work together for a public-private partnership that was gonna benefit this community, benefit soccer in our region, 
and, and hopefully benefit DC United as well. And, and that's something we spent years developing in terms of talking about that relationship and what was going to come of it. The culmination of all those discussions, I think, is, is being here today um, as we embark on this new journey together. And I want to thank Matt and Buddy for your drive, uh, for your persistence, and your commitment to making this a reality. Thank you. I also want to thank Jed Kaplan, Sam Porter, and Adam Banke. Uh, my three partners in crime on this project, uh, great folks who have been very committed to making this happen. Sam has been working with me on this project for several years. Uh, without his drive, uh, without his persistence and his intelligence and, and thoughtfulness about how we're going to get here today, uh, we looked at different sites in the county, we looked at different opportunities. Uh, Sam just never gave up because he really believed in this. He cultivated great relationships in this county. Um, already uh, and more to come. And then Sam brought us Adam, who, who is such a terrific asset to our organization and such a leader. Uh, we're, I'm just excited to see him grow in his career and all the amazing things he's going to do here in Loudoun. Uh, and I feel really honored that, that he's joined us. Uh, he left a small organization in New York, the New York Yankees. <laughs> because he said, we're going to win more championships here in Loudoun. That's what he decided. So let's give it up for Adam Bank. I'm sure you all know this, but in the 19th century, Loudoun was wheat country, right? That's what they talked about here. And then in the 20th century, they talked about Loudoun, they said it was horse country. I remember that very well, right? And then in the 21st century, they started talking about wine country, right? with an incredible wine being made here, and I hear they got a pretty good brewery as well. <laughs> the 21st century, it's gonna be soccer country right here in Loudoun County. <laughs> There's, there's, there's such tremendous talent in this community and there's such a love of sport and to have the opportunity right here in Loudoun to have professional sports uh, and a commitment to the community. We're going to be bringing players in from around the world. We're going to have our local kids training with them. Uh, we're going to grow our academy here in Loudoun and there's already great soccer work being done in Loudoun County. I mean by the, by the clubs that are here that have been doing the work already. So I don't want to act like we're coming in fresh because there's tremendous uh, a tremendous foundation for soccer here and a lot of commitment to the sport by so many kids and so many coaches and so many parents. And, and honestly, we want to fit in the right way. We want to work with our partners um, and we want to embolden soccer in this community. So I want to thank all the folks who've been dedicated to soccer in Loudoun County already, who've produced such great talent um, and we want to continue uh, and to support them in doing so and we want to join that effort locally and we want to bring this professional sports team, Loudoun United, right here. This, let me tell you this, this investment in Bowling Park is not just about soccer though, even though soccer is, it's, and it's not just about our youth, which is so important, but it's also about the kind of activity we can program at our new glistening 5,000 seat stadium. We want to do community events. That's something that was so important to Matt and to Buddy, talking about high school graduations, food festivals, music festivals. We, we want to bring this community together and, and for exciting entertainment opportunities. And that's something that I think has been missing in many ways, and there's an opportunity for that to grow. So we want to be a part of that solution, that part of that opportunity for this community. Uh, we want to be a force of good uh, and giving back to the community. So, so we're just excited to be your neighbors in this effort. We're excited to have uh, be on the ground um, and to really roll up our sleeves and get started with all of you. So thank you very much and Vamos United. <laughs> As you know, Loudoun County is governed by a nine-member Board of Supervisors. The Board of Supervisors sets county policies, adopts ordinances, appropriates funds, approves land rezonings, and carries out other responsibilities set forth by the state code. With us today, you will see Chair Randall, Vice Chair Buona, Supervisor Letourneau, Higgins, Sains, and Volpe. They're all here in attendance to support this effort. Again, they work tirelessly to ensure our county maintains its impressive reputation as one of the fastest growing and well-to-do counties in the entire nation. We would not be here today without their support and belief in this project. Please give them a round of applause as they step to the mic next. Chair Randall. 
Well, good afternoon, and what a great day. You know, I want to say that I remember the day that I got an email from my colleague, Mr. Letourneau, and he said, I want to talk about an ED opportunity with you. And I said, oh my gosh, I have an ED opportunity I want to talk about with you also. So he sent a phone call, and he called me, and I said, Matt, I think I got a restaurant to be able to come to Loudoun County. And I was so excited, because it was the first time I bought anything to Loudoun County. I was like, I have this restaurant. And he was so nice, he was like, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, he listened to me the entire time. And then I said, no, you go. And he said, yeah, I'm talking to DC United. And I'm like, <laughs> like, well, I'm like well, that, that, you know, okay. <laughs> That's good too, That's good too. Um, and Matt and Buddy um, and Tim Hemstreet, who's not here today, um, they have done the heavy lifting. You know, sometimes when you're the chair of the county, you get a lot of credit, but credit should, be, should go where credit is due, and that's been Buddy Reiser, Tim Hemstreet, and Matt Letourneau get most of the credit for this in Loudoun County. So thank you. Jason, thank you, and Adam, your grandfather would be very proud today. I want to quickly say that I am excited about a lot of things, and I'll let all my colleagues talk about all kinds of things, but I'm most excited about what this is going to do for the youth in our county. And in fact, if you're here and you're 18 years or under, will you stand up? 18 years old and under, will you stand up? Look at this, this is fantastic. Don't, don't, don't sit down. There was a recent study that was done and talked about youth sports and the benefits of youth sports. And it said that kids who play sports actually do better academically, they have a higher self-esteem, they have a better ability to problem solve and work in teams, um, and it decreases childhood obesity and childhood diabetes. There are so many benefits for uh, youth sports. And what DC United is about to do with our young people in our county, I think excites me more than anything. I'm always excited about the young people, but this excites me more than anything. It's about to happen with our young people in our county. Jason is right, Loudon Soccer's been here for a long time and they've been on the ground and they've been working really hard and now you get to have a professional team come and cultivate and join us in what we're going to do here. So I am very excited. I thank everyone who's come today. I especially thank Mr. Letourneau, Mr. Hemstreet, and Mr. Reiser. This is a great day and let's win some soccer matches. Thanks so much. <laughs> Vice Chair of the, of the Board, Ralph Bona. Okay, I'm gonna get this right. Good evening, everybody. Okay? We've had morning and afternoon. I thought I'd get that one out there, too. Um, just, I wanna say that you were right about the statistics on Loudoun County. We do have the highest median income in the entire country of any county. 70% of the world's internet traffic goes through Loudoun, but you missed one really important one. Forbes magazine rated us the happiest county in America. And there's a reason for that. We have more wineries and breweries than any county in Virginia. And Adam, thank you for uh, emceeing and congratulations on your new role. I think you must have raised your hand at the wrong time to get this job tonight, but. Uh, but. There's a lot of winners in this, and Chair Randall just thanked uh, the County Administrator, Tim Tim Street, and Buddy Reiser, who's the Director of our Department of Economic Development. But he's also known as Mr. Data Center, because Buddy has brought over 75 data centers, some big ones, Googles and Facebooks, and all those Amazons, and all those guys to Loudoun County. So, but this, this is better, Buddy. This is so cooler. <laughs> this is so cooler. And Supervisor Letourneau was so instrumental in bringing this together. The board still has some work to do. We have some, some land entitlements to take care of. It's a process that we are moving as fast as we can, but Virginia Code makes us do certain things. We will get them done, I guarantee it. We will get it done as fast as we can, and we will get it done, and it will pass the board. There's six of us up here right now. There's only nine. It only takes five votes. <laughs> so we, we can do the math. We can do the math. So, and since we're politicians, I'm only going to talk for another hour. But uh, let me just say this to wrap up. Uh, this is a win for so many. This is a win for the USL. And just tonight I started really looking at where the other teams were. We were just talking some big markets, Cincinnati, Louisville, uh, these kinds of places. And then there's little old Loudoun, but we have good demographics. And 
it's not only a win for the USL and the DC United, it's a win for Loudoun County. It's a win for all of our citizens. It's a win for the community to create a sense of community, which Jason, thank you for saying that because that's been a big hot button of the boards along the way. And most importantly, and I'll echo Chair Randall, this is a win for our youth. I see representatives of some of our major youth clubs here, Loudoun Soccer, for example, and uh, Loudoun Youth Soccer, and Bowling Park is right next to their complex. We're gonna create a soccer mecca and training center for not only DC United, not only for Loudoun United, but for all our children. We're gonna become the number one soccer location on the east coast of the United States. Thank you. And the chairman of the board's finance, government, operations, and economic development committee, that's a long one, Supervisor Letourneau. Uh, thank you, first of all, to my colleagues. Um, yes, I was uh, involved in this project at a very early stage, but the important thing is you all said yes. <laughs> and I can bring you great projects, but the board's been committed to this and very open to this. Um, we've had great partners with Jason, with Sam, with the DC United organization. I think very early on in our discussions uh, with Buddy uh, over uh, several meals and several phone calls and several emails over a period of years, we really built up um, a great trust uh, and really a common goal. And tonight is a manifestation, the first manifestation of that common goal, which is to bring this professional soccer franchise to Loudoun County. Sometimes in local government, we are, we're sort of, uh, we get people with what I call the why can't we haves. People come to us and say, we're in the community, you're our elected officials, why can't we have this? Why can't we have that? Well, one of those why can't we haves in Loudoun County for a long time has been a professional sports franchise. So today, we can have it and we do have it. So welcome <laughs> Loudoun United. This really is a win for our entire community. It's a win for our business community. It's a win for the town of Leesburg and all the businesses there that will benefit. Uh, it's a win for all the organizations that will be able to take advantage of it. Uh, and it's a win, for, I think, for USL. Because uh, although uh, we may not quite be the national name that some of those other cities that my colleague mentioned, uh, I think those who know, know, that, know who we are and they're really gonna know who we are when we're all done. Uh, now, I, I'll just end by saying I'm, I'm kind of notorious up here for being a Red Sox fan, so I certainly hope that Loudoun United wins more championships than the New York Yankees. Here we go. Thank you. Let me uh, introduce my colleague, Supervisor Gary Higgins. Gary, we're in your beautiful Catoctin District, and the stadium will be in your Catoctin District. Take it away. Good evening and welcome to the Catoctin District. I uh, was looking over the press release here a minute ago and it said that uh, DC United wanted to come to Loudoun County because it was one of the most impressive counties in the country. Well, I'm here to tell you this is the most impressive district in the county of Loudoun. Home of the great Vanish Brewery. Thank you Jonathan Staples for organizing this tonight. And, and soon to be home of Loudoun United. And I want to thank you all for your commitment to Loudoun County, bringing professional soccer to Loudoun. As Supervisor Letourneau said, it's been on one of those why don't you lists for a while. I want to sincerely thank Jason Adam and the rest of the organization for your work on this and putting your trust in us and bringing uh, your organization here. And as Matt mentioned, we worked this out for you in spite of the Yankees connection, not because of it. I'm an Orioles fan. He, uh, you know, the Yankees, we got a bad taste in our mouth about them. But anyway, welcome. We look forward to working with you. We're very excited about you being here. We look forward to many, uh, many winning seasons and a great working relationship together. Thank you very much. All right, good evening, everybody. I'm Karan Sainz, I'm the Loudoun County Board, I represent the Sterling District, I'm honored to be here. I just want to quickly say uh, thank you to everybody coming out, and I want to thank the ownership for DC United, Loudoun United, the USL, MLS for having the vision to bring DC United's corporate office and their training facility and the minor league pro team here to Loudoun County. So thank you for your vision. Yeah. 
I want to also thank all the members of the county staff from Economic Development, the county's attorney's office, county administration who worked hard on, to make this reality. This, uh, this will be a great uh, economic uh, engine for Loudoun County and our youth, as uh, Chair Randall spoke, uh, spoke about earlier. Uh, and as I talked about the, the youth, this will be a great experience for our youth who play soccer, not just in Loudoun County, but those who are in close proximity in our region. Um, who knows, maybe we may have some future DC United players come through this program, right? Give it up. And then hopefully uh, we'll have some United States national team members who will take us back to the World Cup and not only to qualify, but to win the World Cup. Yeah. All right, so let's do something real quick. We're always going to try this. So on this side, on my left, like say Loudon, and on my right, like say United. Loudon. Go. Next up, my colleague, Supervisor Bolton, representing the Algonquin District. I guess I'm batting cleanup. <laughs> um, all of my colleagues have spoken uh, very eloquently this evening. Um, first and foremost, God bless you all for having the vision to truly become our partners and invest in our community. And for those of you who know Buddy Riser's history, this, what I'm about to say, will truly mean something. We are blessed, and you are truly a rock star. <laughs> I'll just tell you a little story. I get a phone call from Supervisor Letourneau. He says, Suzanne, it's totally hush-hush, but I got this really cool economic development thing that, you know, Buddy and I are working on. And the way he said it, I was like, okay, how cool? Because I'm thinking, okay, what, you know, some manufacturing plant, what is it? And he was like, he goes, oh no, it's gonna be totally awesome. <laughs> I said, okay, so then I learned. And then we all had to keep hush-hush. Everybody was crossing their fingers. And here we are today. The chair talked about supporting our youth. Uh, we've had multiple things. Here is something that nobody has even talked about yet. Yes, there'll be the academy, our children. And by the way, our children love sports. There are 85,000 students in Loudoun County Public Schools. From my understanding from Steve Torpy with our director of Parks and Rec, we have 60,000 of those students involved in youth sports. We love sports, and I think everyone in this room will agree, soccer is like the number one sport in the county. So you come. So Loudoun United has come to the perfect county you will be welcomed with open arms by everyone. Um, one thing we haven't talked about, a little bit about community events, et cetera, et cetera. Had a talk with my daughter earlier today, and she said, do you mean like if my field hockey team goes back to the state championship once they build this, we might be able to play our state championship here in Loudoun County? I said, yes. Can you imagine how wonderful that would be for some of our youth teams and our high school teams to be able to host regional and state championships here in our own community, truly placing us on the map in every way possible. So I am truly delighted for the small part that I have played in this along with my colleagues. And it's gonna be something that we as a board are leaving as a legacy for our community and for our children. Thank you. Thank you. The rock star himself, one of the 50 most influential Virginians, Buddy Riser. <laughs> All right, so I have a confession to make. I have the best job in the country, and days like today, you wouldn't even have to pay me for it. It's good. We will later. 
I will be paid for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this has been so exciting. I mean, from where we started, and we started with the lunch, and, and just by the way, I, I, the first time Jason called me and, and Jason Levian came up on my phone, it was like a charge to get a call from him. I saved the voicemail. I, I, I still have that. How about this logo? Loud and united, right? I have been fortunate over the uh, last uh, dozen years to do a lot of great deals here in Loudoun County, but I got to tell you, I don't know that there is a deal that I'm more proud of than this one. This has been so much fun to do, and because it's, it's a community asset, this means something to the community to be able to say we have the, a professional team here that we can call our own, that we can call Loudoun United. That's really something special and something that I think that we all could be proud of for a very long time. When we started thinking about what could this be, we started to think about not only what this could be for our youth, not only what could this be for our citizens, what could this be for our businesses. We wanted to talk about what this could be for the future of Loudoun County. And we think that this opportunity is, is something that is going to be special, that is going to lead us into the future in, in ways that I don't think we can even imagine right now. The business community, if you're a business leader and you have the opportunity to work with this organization, I encourage you to do that. If you have kids in your family that are into soccer or into sports, I encourage you to buy your tickets today. I encourage you to get as engaged as you can because we all want this to be successful and something that we can be proud of forever. This is our time. This is the time for Loud and United. And I want to be very, very clear that this group of people, the actually they have a quorum tonight, the Board of Supervisors, <laughs> What they have done in Loudoun County over the last uh, dozen years and, and, and throughout what they're doing today has been to build a community that has become so special, so special to its citizens, so successful, and they did that because they have vision. When we take them deals like this that are a little bit different, there are those elected officials who would have a hard time grasping why it's important. This group, they get it, man. They get it, they get it every time. They understand how important this is. They understand what this could be for the future of Loudoun County. So congratulations to all of you for what you've done. I said I have the, the, the greatest job in the world, and, and part of it is because I get to work for groups like this. I get to work with the great team at Economic Development. Everybody from Economic Development, raise your hand. Right? We, I think they would have been here tonight without the beer because they're so proud of the work that we're doing. Um, Courtney Sidnor, where's Courtney? Courtney, stand up. All the things that people have said, you know, that we have done, Courtney is the one that is really bringing this thing home, so thank you, Courtney, congratulations. I feel like, I feel like I'm a lucky guy. I feel like I have the, the, the you know, the world on the string. Uh, but I, I really hope that you understand what this means for, for, for our community. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you guys for your commitment to Loudoun County. And thank you all for your support for this amazing project. Thanks. All right, you soccer stars, could you stand up for me one more time?
FC Virginia, FC Virginia Loudoun Soccer, and Leesburg FC, please help me in bringing everybody together with a ceremony and presentation of our scarves. All right, everybody, we need a group photo. Does everyone have their scarf? It looks like it. All right, one last time. We bite our time is our team motto. It's inspired by the Loudoun County motto and paying homage to those here before us. All right, everybody, please hold up your scarves. We're going to do a photo op here to commemorate this moment. Finally, we could not be more excited about bringing this team to Loudoun County. There's no better place in this country for it. We look forward to getting to know each and every one of you and becoming a part of the community DNA. Thank you so much. Let's make it a great night. <laughs>